want to bring you the latest that we're tracking from Mission Chandrayaan 3. The crucial de-boosting maneuver has just been completed. We can confirm to you here on 5 Live that the de-boosting phase has just been successfully completed. The lander's orbit has reduced now in altitude from 163 kilometers when it separated from the propulsion module yesterday and it is now 112 kilometers from the surface of the moon. The Chandrayaan lander, the Vikram lander, will be brought 24 kilometers near the moon on the 20th of August and then on 23rd of August is when that soft landing will be executed by ISRO scientists on the south pole of the moon. Akshita Nandagopal, uh, who's going to be in Bengaluru, by the way, for all our special coverage of Chandrayaan, she's been counting it down, speaking to all the experts and giving us uh, an amazing nail-biting, blow-by-blow running commentary of this amazing feat, is with me. Uh, Akshita, the de-boosting phase successfully completed a day after that you know, amazing separation of the launcher module from the Vikram lander. You, uh, you know, explain to us what exactly happened today. In layperson's terms, it looks like that lander is getting closer and closer to the moon now. And you can't imagine it getting any closer if you look at those pictures, Shiv, because it looks so up close and personal already uh, to the moon. But imagine that these pictures were clicked uh, over 100 kilometers away, 163 kilometers away from the yeah. moon. Now, in the last two hours, it's gotten closer to the moon. What essentially has happened and what, uh, you know, the ISRO scientists are referring to as de-boosting. What that means is essentially lander Vikram, which by the way has a massive payload of about 1,700 kilos, is going on an elliptical orbit around the moon. So every once in a while an operation is conducted where it changes that orbit, goes that much closer to the moon. So from 163, it's become 112 to 113 kilometers. Next, on August 20th at 2 a.m., which means we're all going to be burning the midnight oil, at that time you're going to be seeing uh, the uh, lander coming to the closest point of the moon, which is just about 24 kilometers. And that's when it gets to the closest point of the moon shift. These pictures that we're showing right now, ISRO hasn't confirmed if this is the South Pole. But you get a sense of how fast really the lander yeah. right now is moving. There's one footage which is in the middle of the screens which was on August 15th. So that was when Lander Vikram was still part of the propulsion module uh, and in that you see you know, it veering past the moon essentially. And then two days later the latest pictures that we're showing on the right of our screens, that's from yesterday. So that was from the 163 kilometers distance from the lunar surface. And these two pictures show you, you know, what the moon looks like. It's beautiful, it's mesmerizing to say the least. You can see all of the craters, the lunar surface in great detail Detail. Just imagine what it will look like, Shiv, come August 23rd. You know, the ISRO scientists who we've spoken to on India Today maintain that everything is going as per plan. Everything is on schedule. So August 23rd uh, at 5.45 p.m. So in five days from now on your show, Shiv, we're going to be talking about the soft landing of the lander Vikram on the moon. Can't really wait for that. I'm wondering how the next six days are going to, uh, you know, go. Akshita and I are having sleepless nights. You can only imagine how the ISRO scientists are dealing with the, the stress, the tension, the anticipation, really. You know, they've done all their work. And, you know, no matter how many times one sees close-up images of the moon, and remember, it's since the 1960s, the Earth has been seeing close-up images of the moon, but these are the newest, most detailed images of the moon, and it is courtesy an Indian spacecraft. There is so much to be proud of, a lot of science to be done. The next six days are going to be super exciting. Akshita is going to be there, like I said, in Bengaluru. She's going to be the lucky one on site with the scientists, with everyone there waiting for that magical moment. Akshita, thanks so much for joining me on that de-boosting phase because that nail-biting countdown of India's moonshot has now officially begun six days to go. The de-boosting, like Akshita just mentioned, has concluded successfully, picture-perfect, textbook de-boosting, part of the final operations before Chandrayaan-3. The Vikram lander gently lands on the surface of the moon in the South Pole. The lander orbit is now 112 kilometers from the moon. On the 19th of August, Chandrayaan will be only 24 kilometers away from the moon. ISRO on Thursday announced that the Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft's lander module has already separated successfully. We showed you those images as well. So everything is going like clockwork. Everything is on track and we're all hoping for a perfect 
and successful landing five days from now.